Hello. I wanted to speak to everybody a little bit today about firearm safety. And uh, I'll jump right in there. Number one, we always want to keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction. Because a muzzle that's pointed in a safe direction is a muzzle that will never hurt anybody. So even if there was an accidental discharge with the muzzle pointed in a safe direction, everybody goes home safe. The next thing to talk about is uh, keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. And the biggest thing I always try to tell people about that is to keep a direct connection between your brain and that finger and know where that finger is at all times and that creates a uh, safe environment that that you won't have uh, near as many accidental discharges because the trigger obviously is what makes the rifle fire. And then I want to talk to you about uh, making your rifle or your firearm safe. Uh, in other words when you're in the field clear it before you leave the field check it before you put it in your vehicle check it again before you take it in the house and then make sure it's cleared and unloaded every time you retrieve it from your storage know your target and what is beyond the target in other words uh, we want to know where we're shooting what's back there make sure nobody's back there and know where the bullet's going to stop before you fire always wear your eye and ear protection when shooting uh, I had a purchase some ammunition at a gun show one time from an old guy he really talked like he knew what he was doing and uh, I had let my guard down and wasn't wearing any eye protection that day when I shot that uh, pistol one of the rounds was double or triple loaded uh, just about put my eye out. It was it was uh, was very unpleasant. Never never uh, drink alcohol while you're shooting, or drugs, or any even prescription medicine. It can be uh, uh, get in the way of that direct connection I talked about between your brain and your finger. Practice. You always want to be practice and be familiar with your firearm. Uh, they're not to be afraid of, but they are to be respected. Security. You always want to make sure that your firearms are uh, locked up where nobody that you don't want to get a hold of them can get a hold of them. And the last thing I was going to talk about was ammunition, but that was mainly uh, had to do with that incident that I had. Anyway, uh, Chris, if you'll uh, watch me here, we'll see if we can uh, get this thing to light. All right, we'll see if this thing will light. Put a little powder in here. Kind of cover that up. Are you there, Chris? Yes, sir.